So I'm here today with the Jurassic Park game from the Sega CD, which is a pretty rare title. Um, I was having a problem. I finally got the sound text on the Sega CD, so I'm really excited to kind of get on here and do more stuff. Like, we had some sound effects and a little bit of music, but not really all of it, so it was really hard to play the game. But... I've practiced this a little bit, so hopefully I'm not a big idiot right now. And I am streaming, but because I'm the only one here and I'm playing, I can't really read the comments at the same time. I just totally skipped over that issue. Uh, the intro. Uh, essentially, it said you crashed, and hey, uh, you better hurry because other people are after the dinosaur eggs, so you gotta get the dinosaur eggs. Yep, that's a big rock, and I need a big rock, so... Um, if anybody doesn't know, this is a really kind of standard game for the Sega CD system where you just kind of wandered around, but there was like half the information you needed to actually complete the game. So you literally had to trial and error your way through, then restart the game and try again and try again and try again until you knew where everything was. And I'm pretty good with this game. I'm not so great with the Velociraptors at the end though, so we'll see if I can actually make it through all the way. I think I'm just gonna play until I'm dead or until I've died enough times where I'm too frustrated to keep going. Uh, really there's only two places in this game you can die and that's with the Velociraptors who take half your health away with one hit and then with the T-Rex who can eat you in one bite if you make a bad move. So hopefully I avoid all of that. And just like all these games up through like the PS3, there's a lot of going back and forth and kind of wasting your time just going back and forth. Pliers, pull out. Come on, there we go. Now my card, I have the blue key. Um, I'm gonna go the Triceratops way first. Like, I could go to the Dilophosaurs and Gallimimus and, like, get that whole side cleared off at once, but I'm gonna be patient. Because I gotta go back and forth with the Triceratops anyways. Let's watch the T-Rex go through. He likes attention. See, yeah, before I get the sound fixed, you could feel, like, the screen was bouncing up and down, but you couldn't hear him screaming. So it was like, what's your problem, dude? What's happening in this game? Grab that for later because I'm gonna need that in a minute so it'll save me some time in a minute all right this I swear is the most stressful part of the game it took me forever to figure this part out okay so we have the sick triceratops and then there's the bull who's looking right at us like he's about to charge but he's not gonna do anything unless like a jerk I honk this horn and now you have to wait you have to wait for him to turn around now you gotta honk it again and then one more time. If you do it too early, he will ignore the honks and then you're totally doomed. He's just gonna rush you and you're dead. And I don't know if he's gonna rush me after this, but I know, I feel like, I feel the need to hurry. So I'm gonna hurry. All right, I've got the stun gun. Is that what I need though? Uh, no. I'm not gonna go through that building yet. I don't even have the right key card actually. I gotta go back over here and get it. Yeah, and the only way back through <laughs> is to tiptoe around the big bull. So now over here in this panel, I've got baby T-Rex guarding this box. But, oh, and you'll notice with this game, if you see a green X, that means you have what you need to accomplish it even if you don't know what it is. So I fed him the branch that I took a few minutes ago and now, oops, nope, now I can search it. Now I get the crowbar out. Come on. And just grab out the T-Rex card, or T-Rex, Triceratops card. Now I feel like I shouldn't, do I have any eggs yet? I don't think I do, no, I don't have any eggs yet. I'm gonna try it this way and I might immediately die. We'll find out together. Wait, do I even have the wrench? Oh, okay, no, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have the wrench to get back out. So, ha, oh, sorry, I teased you. Yes, gonna go that way. 
<laughs> so I forgot it actually blocks the door so you can't leave unless you have the wrench and I do not yet have it. Oh, it's just as well. I need the tranquilizer darts for the uh, Dilophosaurus is hiding in there anyhow. And now he's not coming out. That's the way to the Velociraptors and that's the way back to the Welcome Center. Um, I don't think I need to go in the Welcome Center, really. Yeah, I don't need any tranquilizers for this side, so we'll just go on over. And all these do have, like, things you can click on and learn things about the dinosaurs. Sometimes it's the only way you can figure something out on how to beat it. Um, yeah, and there's a guy, uh, this is actually Backer that they talk about in the first Jurassic Park movie, but they don't show him. And I'm so glad I fixed the sound, because otherwise he doesn't talk. I talk right over him. He'll go on for four different segments if you let him, but I'm, I gotta do one later anyways for the Brachiosaurus, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Alright. Now we have two Gallimimus. If I take their eggs, they will both charge me and cause me a great amount of damage, so what I'm gonna do instead is go mess with the Dilophosaurus. And... I don't know where I'm looking. There's my big rock. Now I'm going to get my stun gun. Well, no, I actually don't even need the stun gun because they don't hit very hard. So I can kind of get through this without it. Alright. Now there was an explore option, but I'm just going to get the gas can with those little compies out. And now I've got that X over there, so I've got the thing I need. I just have to fill up the gas tank. And now I can glide over to the other Dilophosaurus section, because why not? Alright, alright. Yep, yeah, they're still there. They're still mad. Snatching your eggs. And this will restore your health, but it will only work one time. So, uh, be aware of that. There's another one I'll show you in a few minutes that will continuously work. But that's inside the visitor center upstairs. Alright, now we're going to look in here, get the CD, get the eggs, and I got these eggs last because they will actually die, and like they'll freeze to death and die here when it gets through and lets me pause, I'll show you. Alright, yeah, if you notice I've got two that I have, and they will die, or you can get them in the incubator and they'll be safe. Uh, wait, is that the path I want? Yeah, that's the path I want. I'm gonna get these guys last so that I don't worry about those eggs freezing at all. Okay, now to get these guys out of here, you just gotta push that over. Now I'm gonna wait a minute to grab their egg because I need the wire cutter for over here. Now I have the wrench, so now I can go back and do the Triceratops stuff fully. I got that. Anything else? Oh, I guess I could take this off now. Nope. Okay. Crowbar. Nope. Thought I had. Oh, wrench. Duh. That makes sense. Bolts. Ah, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Okay. I just took that off for later. I could actually do that. Uh, I could do that from either side. That's not a make or break situation for this game. But I just thought since I had the wrench, I would get it over with early. Okay, what else we got? What else is hanging out around here? Okay, yep. Need to stun the frog so that the Gallimimus will eat it. And then that will clear a path for us. And now here's a nest with, I think these are compy eggs, and one of them will always die. I've never been able to save both of them. Yeah, those are the two compy eggs, and no matter what I do, one of them dies. I don't know how one of them manages to get colder than the other, but apparently that's just the way things are. Okay. Now for this, you really gotta charge up the stunner. That's something I didn't even know it did way back when. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not fast enough! All right, well, another egg. And over here, if you move this log, now you get bolt cutters that you are gonna need big time later. And so now you can walk through the path here. 
that's the other side of the grate that I took the face off of already so I don't have to stop here and unscrew each piece individually and then yep there's one more just gotta stun it I'm gonna take your babies and I'm gonna run away And then for these that I left up front, just so their eggs wouldn't really freeze, although I haven't had that problem, you just shoot not at them, because if you like shoot at them or you take their eggs first, they'll charge you like that other one did. But if you just shoot kind of around them, they'll take off running. Like, bye. Thanks for playing, bye. I kind of want to see if I can figure it out here. Yeah, they're both alive now. All right, now this is my first time all the way in here. And they're still both alive. And for some reason, by the time I make it to the incubator, I swear they'll, they'll be gone. Like one of them will be dead, always. And then I have that little baby dinosaur death on my head for the rest of the game. You go straight through this door, you'll find the incubator. You have to use the key card to activate it. Yep, now the light's on. Oh, I got them both! I think that's the first time in my entire life that one of these guys over here didn't die. All right, yay! It must be like down to the second for that. I don't, I don't know, that's crazy. But there, that will work multiple times as long as you have some health missing, so. If you are damaged enough, you just keep going back there. And now I have, which one did I get? Okay, well I've got all the CDs now, so it doesn't really matter. No, I don't need the gas can, jeez. Okay, I think, I think, I think that's it. Ah, wrong button. I can I can go to Muldoon's office. Might as well get the gas gun out just in case. Okay. I think the image for this is a little bit stretched because it's from the original game, but I had to like put it in an HDMI converter for the AV files, so for the AV cords, I mean, so it's kind of a little bit off in the way it looks compared to normal. It's a little bit too stretched. I don't know. It acted like it wanted to do something, but it never quite does anything. Um, let's see. Where can I use? Ah. I thought I remembered it being in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, you gotta go take the Triceratops CD, put it in here so that you can get the code to get in through the Triceratops to get their eggs. Reveal sequence. Okay, Brock, Velociraptor, T-Rex, and flat something? All right, it is different every single time you play the game, and that's kind of one of those things that's like, Arr, because, oh yeah, I went the wrong way. Um, yeah, it's not like you can just skip coming into the office and getting the code, like you're forced to get the, oh wait, no, I got the drink, didn't I? derp a derp a derp yep, I got it. Now I'm gonna go in the first office, way back up by the stairs. There's so many little things about this game, like you had to already know it existed to be able to make it work. Like I'll show you an example right here. Up here, yeah, there's a box up here that if you didn't know it was there, you would totally miss it. Cut, cut, and then 
No, where's my hand? There we go. And now I have a dino tracker. So it will tell me when the dinosaurs are around me. Come on, load up. It is so slow, it's crazy. I'll just play you one of these just for the sake of playing it, I guess. We were trying to play it the other day and there was no sound at all right here and it was like, um... It's not actually that interesting, so I'm just gonna skip it and try to figure out... No, I don't want the message again! I want my hand! Oh, there it goes. Okay. I guess I just have to keep pressing down. Save current game. Yes! But the sucky thing is that this is so old, the save batteries for the memory card have died, so I can't actually save it long term. Let me see if I can. What gets in here? I hear the phone. I know if I cut the wire to a phone, I get a really weird message. Oh, wait a minute. No, it must have been average computer noise. And you can travel with the tool in your hand, so that's kind of an interesting feature for this type of game. You just don't get the arrow to know for sure if you've got a place to go. And then if we look over here... I don't know why it suddenly got dark on the screen. Bolt cutters, I bet. Wire cutters? Okay, there it goes. It was bolt cutters. And those are extras for the tranquilizer. The tranquilizer is pretty plentiful, but the uh, other one, the gas gun, which is the most effective one, is very stingy. But I know a little cheat that I've come across that'll help me there. Now I'm totally done with the other side that had all the gallimimus because I got like 11 gallimimus eggs. I'm like totally done with that side. Don't need it anymore. And hopefully I can get through this without incident. It's a zigzaggy road. Oh yeah, no, I need the key card, derp. And the thing is, like, if you use the key card as soon as you get it, you've, like, completely screwed yourself over and you've just lost the game because you probably don't have the wrench and you definitely don't have the code yet to get through. Oh yeah. How could I forget? You guys have to die. And they take, like, two kits a piece. The good thing about this game, though, is that you really don't have to be a solid aimer. It's like, okay, you got in the vicinity. We know what you wanted there. Alright. Come on. Uh, just got our, I guess, random... Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta turn that off. Oh, uh, maybe you could get back out without all the extra... Oh, that's important. That's my Triceratops. No, that shouldn't be the Triceratops. What did I just get, then? I'm not even sure now. Okay. Oh gosh, what was the code? Okay. One, two, three. No. Must have been... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, all the music stopped. <laughs> you know you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, that one had a much more positive noise, so... We're gonna go through here. Hopefully I can get it right. All right, this is the tricky part. You have to seriously, there's a bull waiting back there. And then here's like a mama in her nest. What in the world? Where's the, where's the Gallimimus? Okay, there they are. <laughs> I was like, I thought I was getting pranked here. 
Like, oh gosh, no. And now you just gotta wait for them to, like, steal her eggs. I'm just gonna get this charged up and ready. Crap, I missed it. Like, if, if she gets irritated at me, she will charge. It's happened before. So I don't know how tolerant she is or what it takes for her to freak out. Okay, I got it. I got it. Now I just gotta take it and run because she will come after me so fast. Whoo! And, like, if you screw that part up and you try to come back, like, there's no Gallimimus. Like, there's nothing there to steal the eggs. So the, and, like, none of the grenades or anything work on the Triceratops. So you're, like, totally messed up. And those Dilophosauruses have respawned. So I just have to run out of here as quickly as I can. And, lucky for me, these guys don't realize I stole one of their eggs. So I can get out of here peacefully. Alright, I just have to get all the way back to the visitor center and pop that in and then I'll do the Brachiosaurus, the T-Rex, and fingers crossed the Velociraptors. I can't remember but I don't think I ever got successfully got Velociraptor eggs before. I get like really close but I never actually get to finish that part. Come on, I don't want him to freeze! Oh, for the love of criminy. I don't think I have the I don't think I have the key I need. What am I doing? Well, I have the key I need to get through the doors. I don't think I have the key I need to actually do the rest of what I want to do right now. Cuz there's a cheat with one of the with the uh, T-Rex key, I think, that you can get like unlimited gas and grenades. Straight through the door. And load eggs. I have got one Triceratops egg now. Heal up. Alright, I'm gonna run for the Brachiosaurus egg now. Well, that one actually it is no danger at all to get it. It's it's almost impossible to die or lose it or anything. And these old Sega controllers take a bit to get used to again. They're so light. And the buttons are so, like, pushy, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, like, they're extra springy in there. Then the Brachiosauruses are back up by the way we came. And you can see him out there being all majestic and peaceful, not bothering anybody. But now I have the CD for the Brachiosaurus, so I'm going to insert that. And Dr. Backer is going to take it away from there. Come on, come on. Brachiosaurus are really loud. They have an echo chamber built in their snout. What's this? I'm just going to kind of skip over this. I might do a long play later for people that really want to hear all this, but I'm just going to get to the uh, plot advancing part. This one I have to let it play. Baby crocs and gators have a special alarm call that makes the parents come running. Maybe Brachiosaurus had a similar system. <laughs> You see, because it made the sound of the baby, they come, the parents come running off. Alright, we done? We done? We done? Yep. And 
then uh, you will see in a minute, any time now, come on load, they have run off and trampled some trees so that I can now see their nest and snatch their eggs. My, I hope I'm a good guy. <laughs> I didn't really think about it. I guess because there's somebody else coming after the eggs, I assume that I'm for the good guys here working for the park, but uh, why do they need eggs again if they've abandoned the place? This would have been a much more interesting sequel than uh, The Lost World was. Okay, we've got dinosaurs on there. We want you to go and collect some eggs before these other people do. Because that would make a lot more sense in The Lost World because Engine had so much money invested in that place. Of course, they're going to want to go reattain their assets like that. All right, I don't know how long Brachiosaurus eggs last, but I do not want to test it. Oh yeah, key card, Dirk. I feel like I did not successfully get my key card somewhere because that's still the Triceratops key card. Did it not pick it up out of the... Man, I'm gonna... I don't know why I even... Why did I do that to... Why didn't I... What am I doing? Click the cursor! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do another cheat I know. I've got the second controller plugged in, so now I can just hit start. Come on. There we go. Now I can pick where I want to be. Gallimimus, Dilophosaur, okay. Triceratops, I'm gonna bet. Is it just three or six? That's odd. Okay, we'll try six. Oh, wait, what did I do? Back to jumper node. Yeah, I clicked the wrong thing, oops. Uh. We'll go to Triceratops 6. Worst case scenario, that should put me outside, I think. Where am I? Where am I now? I'm a little concerned. Oh yeah. <laughs> right where I thought I would be. Um, please let me go. <laughs> I'm afraid she's gonna come barreling out of that nest after me. I'm gonna have those stupid Dilophosaurus to deal with, but at least I don't have to do so much walking to get back where I was. All right. Yeah, I took it, so where the heck is it? Why did I not get credit for my T-Rex card? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I can't even, like, I don't even think I can continue without the T-Rex card. It, like, didn't give me credit for it. Missing. What did I screw up? And really the only benefit of the T-Rex CD is that it kind of tells you how to defeat the T-Rex. Come on. But I already know what I'm doing, so I don't really care. <laughs> like, I already know how to defeat it, as long as I can get that key card to work. I don't know how it possibly didn't let me pick up the key card. I guess we'll find out how badly I screwed this up in a second. Well, it says it'll work. Okay. So I gotta hold on for 30 seconds. And the best way I found for this to work is just hold down for your uh, stun gun. Just hold it down and let it make that loud noise because the T-Rex does not like the high pitch frequency. And then when the door opens, you want to shoot it right there in the cheek. Because it'll give you some time to not fully attack, but you got to be quick because they don't mess around too much. Okay, there's the door. Yes, got through. All right. I'm going to fight with these stupid Dilophosaurus. I dropped the bear horn when the T-Rex charged me. From Sorry Mate Smaldoon. Okay. I 
heard another one. I thought, oh, oh, whoa. Um, I'm not used to the T-Rex being there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that that's ever happened to me before. Crap. Yeah, I just got eaten by a T-Rex. Like, I literally just got eaten from behind from a T-Rex. I did not even realize he was there. I don't remember him ever showing up like that before. Maybe that's just my sign to hurry. All right, let me try that again. Man, I came so far. All right, all right, I know I saved, so come on, let's move it. Let's get this going. The load times for these are incredibly long. All right. Now, even though it will not last and the memory card will not, like, save long term, it will stay, like, saving your game for as long as the system stays powered on. So, small miracles here. And I'm not positive what it's called right in front of the T-Rex paddock, so I'm not gonna try and guess what that's called in the nodes. I'll just walk it. Come on, if you would just load slightly faster, you would be so much better as a game. I know that's asking a lot from a CD from 1994, I think, but <laughs> please just work with me. Okay, bolt cutter, snappy snappy, go through. Well, now I know to be extremely diligent to move quickly in the next room. And see, you have to have the stunner because the tranquilizer and the gas gun do not make the noise. Like, it does not make the charge up noise like this one does. Come on, door, anytime now. Well, I got through. It sounded like the T-Rex was back there again, so I don't know what the heck. Maybe I just never heard him before because I didn't have all the sound going on. But, uh, okay. I think, I think, I think I'm safe here for a second. Where? Yes, there you are. All right. All right. I think I remember what I need to do here. All right. This is another one of those stressful moments. I can get this right. Okay, one. And just keep hitting that button, and then on the third hit, now I need the bear horn to scare it. Ah! He ate me first. I think I pushed it too far. I can do this. I know I can do this. I have done it before. All right, I'm just gonna move to like node three of the T-Rex game. Or the T-Rex option, let me get this loaded. All right, load. 
fun. You can load. You can load. There we go. I'm going to hit start on controller number two, which will take me into this lovely selection, Rex235. Yes, I think Rex5 is what I want. Ah, I did it. I hit the wrong thing again. No, we... Okay, A to select. I hit cancel like an idiot. Select. Let's try select. <gasps> How did I get to game over? How did it straight take me to game over? <laughs> Dude. Let me try that again. If it will load within the next six years. Alright, we'll try Rex 3. Alright. So, where are we? Okay. We're good. We're good. Just need the bear horn. I need the eggs, and that's going to activate the misses over here. One, two, okay, I'm going to just try it at two, because my... Okay, yeah, that scared her off, so I can get through the tunnel. <laughs> I think I got relying on that Triceratops three beep thing. Crap, I'm back here, really. I don't have time for this. Open the second hatch. Let me through. <laughs> I'm just going through. Just forget them. They don't do that much damage that you need to spend all your ammo. Okay, now where did you stick me out? Okay, and I don't know if the T-Rex is going to be close by here. Actually, I don't know if that was the same T-Rex that ran across on the other side of the paddock, but, uh... I'm not going to take that chance by hanging around. And I'm also not going to hold on to this egg because if any- No! Why did I go the Triceratops way? Ah! <laughs> Cheap mode. Okay. Intro hub. I'm going to say hub 3 is where I want to be. That feels right. Ah, uh, close enough. <laughs> I, I literally did all that just to stick myself right outside where I just was. Unfortunately, the way they named those nodes, they're not very clear. T-Rex eggs to go sour. I wish after I used it once it would quit going like, okay, used again. Okay, used it again. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my Triceratops? Ah, oh, did I die between those? I didn't save, did I? Aren't I a Derpasaurus? All right, well, I'm special.
I just want to say. What I saved after I got the Brachiosaurus eggs. Maybe I'm totally crazy. No matter. <laughs> Game jump menu activate. All right. So then, if I am correct. Yes, okay, so the Gallimimus are still here. Just have to wait her out. Grab egg, and oh man, she's looking at me, I'm scared! <laughs> oh my gosh, I think she made the noise like she was gonna come for me. Whew! Okay, okay, I think I'm better now. So does that mean I wasn't in here before? No, it does not look like I was in here before. Alright, so then I need to just go through this all over again. No, 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 which one? Okay, there we go. You know what? What did I get? I don't even know what I got. It just doesn't even like, ah, I don't want pliers. I just want to leave. Just let me go. I have no interest in fighting Dilophosauri for all of my energy and, and guns. Okay. play chance and go after the brachiosaurus eggs so I don't have to go into the visitor center twice. Dr. Backer, I need you. I don't land this one part. Frank chewed leaves with their stomach stones, and you could hear a constant rumble of digestion noises. Baby crocs and gators have a special alarm call that makes the parents... I hate that most of his, like, parts are one sentence until this one that you need to do, and then it's like, four hours later we'll be done talking about it. Finally. Now I have to wait till I get my cursor back. Hopefully my eggs aren't dying over here. I wonder where they went, because they seem to have gone my way, but I see no trace of them. Make sure, okay, it says it's still safe for now. Come on! Time sensitive! Okay, I just have raptor eggs to get. 
not stressful at all. Uh, hopefully this little hack I know is going to work. It should, because it's not an emulated game. It's usually when they get emulated or they're on Steam or something that you start to lose the old codes that worked. Or the Retron. I know a lot of things like the, uh, what is it called? The Game Genie doesn't work with the Retron. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I went too far, I understand. No, come on, I totally got this. I deserve this, let me through. Crap. Wait a minute. Derp, I'm using a key card. That's not what I even needed. I needed the CD, derp a derp a derp. Like, I need the Tyrannosaurus Rex key card. No, it's a CD I need. I need the CD. All right, hold on. I think I can really get this to work now. Derp, derp, derp. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's just right there on the edge where I can't get to it. Okay. There we go. That's what I needed. Salvation is mine. It's gonna let me in. There we go. Yes. Now I have unlimited gas guns. I just have to like, how many times am I willing to hit the button and pick them up? Because it's literally there like one at a time. What do you mean no more? How many do I have? Okay, apparently it's unlimited refills, but you're stuck at 50. Okay, but I still have seven hours left in game time, so I'm going to save very quickly. I hope, if it will just move along in this game. Yes. Goodness, I wish I could save my save file for longer than turning off the machine, but it is what it is. All right, I make no promises for how far in the Velociraptors I will get because last time I got there, I had half my sound effects, so I couldn't figure out what was the problem with the gate. Fingers crossed this will all work out. Come on, come on, get my cursor. I'm just gonna go straight into the lion's den, as it were. I've got get another big rock. There we go. Oops. And these compies run out. 
All right, there's a big rock you have to get, like, at the bottom. I'm going to try really hard to do this without getting murdered. Um, and I do already have the night vision guns, so... Or night vision goggles. Oh, gosh, they're so close. Ah, come on! <laughs> they're, like, all over around here. It's, like, it's really... If you can just grab the rock and run up the stairs, that's the quickest, easiest thing to do. And if you don't have the night vision goggles, it's, like, all black and shadows, and it's miserable and scary. But nothing will get you while you're investigating, so that's good. Now, okay, now it's the Velociraptor key. Alright. I gotta go back. Quickly, I would recommend the gas gun, because you can shoot the gas gun and knock them out off screen. See, like, there's one back there just thinking about coming. Okay, you want to make sure that you go through these double doors. You don't want to accidentally go back down the stairs, because then you're really in trouble. Okay, now this is, like, the most freaking difficult part of the game. Okay, where am I? Give me my gas gun. Okay, if you're lucky. Okay. And now I will hopefully have time, because they will keep freaking coming. And they're just, like, on top of you, and you don't even realize it till it's, like, way too late. Okay, if you can keep three of them on screen, passed out at the same time, no more will usually come. So if you notice in the tracker, there's like nothing coming up on my side, so that's good. It seems like this is still a working thing. Five seconds. Okay, this door is going to open. I think I'm going to get through it now. Alright, now i got to just quickly make a break for it. Now I have no idea what's next. I don't think I've ever gotten through the gate. Whoa. Crap. I don't know how many are around here. No, I heard you. I heard you. I got plenty of gas to spare, so we're gonna... We're gonna shoot you all down as best as we can. Okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing. I really hope I didn't pass something important. Is that the nest? Okay, wait, no, but I see something that's gonna need the crowbar's attention. Come on, gas gun. Okay, where are you? Okay, here's the eggs. Grab the eggs. Get down the hole, get down the hole. I got Velociraptor eggs! I hope this takes me out of the raptors. I don't want to play with more raptors. Please don't make me play with more raptors. They're so stressful. Okay, where'd I come out? Where am I? Okay, so... I think... Yep, they scatter. And then, if you didn't get surviving compy eggs before, you now have some. But see, if you would have picked them up first, <laughs> that's still blocked off from where I skipped it. <laughs> from where I jumped back over that sequence later. Now, I just have to get into the incubator, come on! I think I might actually beat the game. If uh, memory serves, there's just one part after this that I never got to, where you have to stop the rival company from taking the eggs from you or something. You guys don't know what it was like back before the internet when you had to rely on all these magazines to give you the walkthroughs. <laughs> like, now you can see other people do it. And if you can see other people do it, then you can like, oh yeah, I can totally do this, no problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm actually going to have to listen to the message now because I don't know what else to do. Okay, I got 31 dinosaurs safe. 
I feel like that's a pretty, that's a respectable number, right? 31 safe dinosaurs now. And I didn't get hit by one Velociraptor. Go me. No cheat codes or any, well, I guess like in-game cheats, but I didn't like input any specialty cheats to be like a god mode or something. Although to be fair, it's like impossible to get through the Velociraptors if you don't know about that gas gun cheat. Okay, now I actually have to figure out what I'm doing. Yes, definitely save. We found transportation, sort of. Biofilm is a lot more interested in grabbing DNA than they are in hunting you. As soon as they've heard So it's Biosyn versus Engine. Which, I mean, I don't know, even if Biosyn got through it, they would still owe like billions of dollars of intellectual property to Engine, so would it really even be worth stealing? Crap. No, I didn't mean to restart you, I just wanted out. Okay, so since I came from the Triceratops Velociraptor T-Rex side, I'm going to quickly try the Galmimus side. Because I don't think they would land where my crashed helicopter is. I hope I didn't need to take the eggs with me. Jeez. I hope they just stay in the incubator automatically. <laughs> All right. Ah. See, that's why I didn't scare those two off first earlier in the game because then you get that guardian over that path right there. So that's why I don't take those first eggs you see until the very end. Well, the very end of this side, I suppose. Uh, I think that's the right way. Maybe, I don't know, we might have to wander a bit. Oh, nope, here they are. Try gas gun. Well, okay, or don't work. I'm hitting you with a gas gun, dude. Okay, he's dead. Somebody's hitting me from behind. Water fish man. Thank you for taking like 50 dinosaur tranks and not dying. Oh, oh, well, he's actually gonna die now. He's gonna drown. Shoot, did I just die? Did I really just die here? Mother Forker. All right, let me hear my shame now. I've got to wait for 10 minutes before it'll let me skip the game over screen. I have to listen to my death very intently. No, I'm gonna win this, Dagnabbit. I did not work on this for an hour to lose here. Because now I know that the gas gun is worth worthless. I thought, okay, well, I don't want to use dinosaur tranks on humans. They'll immediately die. No, I just have to kill everybody. That's a that's Jurassic Park policy. Kill all competition. All right, we're gonna play the node game. Let's see, we were where. Uh, we'll call it Gal 4. I think I remember reading something about that. Yep. All right. No? I thought it was here. Am I nuts? No, it was totally here before. Because, yeah, he was flopping around in the river. Okay, does my cheat code not work? 
maybe I have to listen to that message before it activates. Or another option, I might have to see that helicopter fly by. Darn it, I really don't want to go all the way back. I do have to listen to that stupid message. Here, I thought I would save everybody some time. Was that noise? I just got a random no beep. Didn't even press anything at that point. No, I don't know. What am I doing? Now it's getting irritated with me. It's making all these meh meh. Alright. I don't know what's going on. But the game is getting very annoyed right now. I'm going to say fingers crossed this is going to end in a second. Okay, it's like freaking out. Okay, well at least it stopped with the message, whatever the heck just happened. I'm like over here unplugging wires, like what did I do? All right, now it should work out great, fingers crossed. Mm, come on, show me that, there it is. Uh-oh. This game is getting very annoyed with me. What is going on with the sound effects but they're kind of freaking out right now i don't i don't know if like the uh avi converter i have is freaking out or if the sega cd is freaking out like i have no idea what's going on all right now we're gonna play kill all humans doing like really poorly okay okay ah, one of them went down the other one's still messing with me okay I'm getting you crap man this is like really upset what in the world I'm just gonna plug it back in and you're gonna act like you don't know me anymore It's not buzzing. All right, so apparently the gas grenades are working. They just uh, take a lot to kill these people. So, and here we go back to the buzzing. What in the heck? That's all we need from that. <laughs> I 
Apparently this game was not designed to be played in one sitting. Oh, for goodness sakes, come on. I gotta go through so many doors and pathways to get back there. And now it's buzzing. Like, in the same places, it keeps buzzing. That's so weird. I'm gonna get this up and ready. Okay, I seriously, I get you're annoyed. I'm just trying to beat the game, I swear. Like, no ill will intended here. Okay, well, these are supposed to... Oh, crap. Dirt bag. Okay, are you down now? Okay, yep, the guy behind me is freaking out. And since the gas grenade kind of takes over the whole field, it's kind of nice for that. How many tranks do you need, dude? Just die! Why are they so overpowered? Oh gosh, I'm never gonna make it. Gosh! I'm so close and this is so frustrating. I know I'm dead. Quit being mad and just let me let me load back again. Alright, this might be the last time I try it because of the stupid buzzing. I'm like so close. And there it is being all kinds of angry still. Okay, maybe if I unhook the red, nothing. Okay, well I'm just gonna leave that white cord unhooked then. <laughs> and maybe the red needs unhooked too. I'm just gonna leave both of them unhooked. I have a feeling if I try to jump straight to the Gallimimus, it's going to be like, no. Let's see, where am I with? Oh, well, I'll go back and get some more. I've got some extra time. If I have more, then maybe they'll die faster. Or at least so I can hope. I'm at 50 now, so hopefully that will help. Come on. 
Yeah, I feel like if I don't watch that helicopter come by outside, then it's just going to be like, nope, even if you skip over to this part, it's not going to activate. Let me see while I'm waiting if this will work better now. No, we're still going to buzz. Alright, well, there's the helicopter. So we'll just go to Cal minus four. Seriously, you're going to act like you're going to act like you're not there. I saw the helicopter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be soundless until this thing decides it wants to behave. Here we go. Come on, I'm determined. I'm determined to defeat you. I want you gone. I want you out of my life. Quit shooting me. Ugh, come on. I'm so close. I know I'm so close. He just doesn't shoot fast enough, that stupid gas gun. Come on, how many times do I have to shoot you? Okay, now you're dead. Let's just deal with that. No! Alright guys, between this thing buzzing and everything, and I, I give up for right now. I think the machine needs to cool down for a while. But thank you for watching, and I will definitely see you in the next video.